Ranked playing Modern Warfare 2. One of the most sweatiest game modes I've ever played in my life, man. Freaking everyone is using the meta weapons all the time. Everyone's sweating. It's it's not even that much fun, I'm not gonna lie. If you're like me, you are going into this game mode with just like your normal guns from other game modes. And you soon realize that you're just getting smacked and smacked and smacked. Well, don't stress, because I got you and I did some research and I like, you know, created some loadouts. And these loadouts are actually the best possible thing you could use for this game mode. These loadouts complete with the perks and like the tacticals, lethals, everything that you need to know. These loadouts, these two loadouts, basically same perks, just different guns, are the best things you can use. So let's get into it. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let's go. All right, so first for the gun, it's either one of two guns. But first, let's start with the first one, which is the SMG. The SMG is the Vaznev. Now the Vaznev is, you already know, like this gun is so good. You've probably seen people kill you with it so many times. Now this Vaznev loadout that I'm about to show you is possibly the best one in my opinion. The only issue is that it only has four attachments. Because the fifth one, you can put an optic if you want. But other than that, there's really nothing you want to put on it. Because it's just going to decrease the gun. But here's the loadout right here on the screen right now. And the tuning, I'm going to show it too. It's going to cycle through all the tunings. And basically, this gun is just so good. I've tuned it so that I have the most movement possible as well with the best recoil. I just tuned it the way I would normally tune a gun. And yeah, that's basically the loadout. Now for the second weapon, for this one, I'll, okay, so I would create a second loadout with the same perks, tactiles, everything. But this is the second gun for that. So the second gun is, of course, you already know, it's the AR, the TAC-56. You have definitely seen this gun already in rank play. You've been killed by it like 10 times probably already. This gun is so good at range, it's ridiculous. Like, it just kills so fast too. Of course, we gotta show you the loadout. Here's the loadout on screen right now, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the tuning for it as well. This gun is basically, it has such good ADS and it has such a good range it's basically it's such a good loadout for this tac 56 i would actually recommend using the tac 56 more than the vaznev and then picking up someone else's vaznev as your secondary so then you have both for that life and yeah now we get to the rest of the loadout the boring part but we have the knife as the secondary why the knife why not a pistol well you can run faster okay you want to be able to run as fast as possible to the objective and that's why you're going to use a knife now for the perks for the perks, you want Battle Hardened, Bomb Squad, and Fast Hands. Why do you want these? Well, the rest of them suck. Like, it's as simple as that. Fast Hands is the best one out of the three. I think it's the three you get. Fast Hands is so much better than the rest. Bomb Squad and Battle Hardened, are, you literally need them. You're going to be getting stunned, grenaded. Everything is not going to look good for you. So, you know, you're going to need these perks. Now we get to the Lethals and Tacticals. Now, for the Tactical, I would run Stuns because guess what? That's the only one you can use so stupid man there's no variety in this game but like you can use stuns only so you gotta use stuns and then for the lethals you get an option between frag grenades and semtexes and of course semtexes is just better unless you're really that guy who likes frag grenades that's your choice but semtexes in my opinion are a lot better and now we have the final thing the field upgrade now for the field upgrade this is a weird one because you have two options and they're both good options you have a dead silence and you have a trophy system now the thing is i'm gonna tell you right now if the game mode is control or hard points, okay? These strictly objective-based game modes, control or hard points, you want to use a trophy system because bare bombs, bombs, grenades, lethals, all like, you, you know what I'm saying, right? They're going to be thrown so much and the trophy system is going to save your ass so much. So you want the trophy system. But if it's search and destroy, the trophy system would help in situations but not as much as a dead silence so if it's search and destroy switch it to dead silence if it's any other game mode keep it on trophy system and yeah that is the best loadout you can use for rank play i've been trying like you know my rank is not the highest right now i don't have the time to play you know very busy guy but you know we're, we're going up thank you for watching the video i hope it helped you out please be sure to leave a like subscribe and yeah 